Hello everyone, happy Friday. I hope you are having a beautiful day. Today I wanted to create this video to share with you my insights with Inovio Pharmaceuticals, ticker INO. Before I begin, I'd like to inform you that all of the information I'll be sharing with you, please use this information as guidance information only. Anytime when you do consider making an investment or a trade, please do your own research and take my information as guidance. Let's get started. Now, as you can see, we are looking at the current share price of Inovio Pharmaceuticals and why did the company's share price drop significantly today by about 25%? Well, today there was news released by Inovio Pharmaceuticals where the U.S. government is not going to be funding its phase three clinical trials and there's big concerns with shareholders pulling out as a result of this news. However, from my perspective, I personally feel that given the fact that INO has a number of immunotherapy DNA vaccines for 15 different diseases and not even just for COVID-19, that just tells you that there's a big opportunity for this company to advance medical unmet needs, whether it be in glioblastoma, anal dysplasia, cervical dysplasia, MERS, cancer, infectious disease, you name it. There's about 15 different diseases. And the fact that this company will be partnering up with AstraZeneca, leveraging its DMAP technology to create future vaccines for the COVID-19. We know that COVID-19 is not going away and that is why this company will continue to add value in the long run. It's just that it just takes time for drug therapies to be approved for use in clinical trials. And the fact that this company is a small cap company, of course, you know, with politics going on, you won't see a small cap company getting emergency use authorization on its drug product immediately. That's why big companies like Moderna and Pfizer, as well as Johnson & Johnson, have emergency use authorization to use its vaccine. And that just tells you that the FDA has technically not approved any vaccine in the US market for use, which demonstrates safety and efficacy. And that is why companies like J&J, &J, Moderna, and Pfizer have EUA status, but that's not to say that their product is safe and effective. However, it's doing what it's supposed to do and that the benefits outweigh the risk. Now, when it comes to Inovio Pharmaceuticals, when you look beyond what it's working on with its INO4800 vaccine, I mean, the positive thing is that it does have international clinical trials as well, and it's working with Ava vaccine. It could potentially start commercializing its products, getting INO4800 developed and manufactured in different parts of the world, not just specific to the United States. In fact, it has a larger scope trying to add value in areas like China, Korea, all different areas not only just in the United States but when you look at their entire product portfolio they have so much in the pipeline where it's only going to continue to grow with future valuation and as of today I personally feel this is a great buying opportunity getting in at a lower cost average whether you are a new investor or an existing investor of INO and you have a high conviction now is an opportunity to dollar cost average down right at six dollars right now I mean what if it runs back up to its prior resistance 35 what if it reaches triple digits share price range because some of its products I mean it's eliminating the need for surgery occurrences and that's just adding value to humanity right I mean with products that are going inside the body I mean that takes a long time and that's why it has 15 DNA immunotherapy vaccines right now that's going through clinical trials and it's a long process yes I know and that's why if you're patient with this company you can gain significantly from a long-term perspective and that's my takeaway with INO currently undervalued and I have high conviction that it can reach up to the double digit share price range similar to when it ran back in 2020 around July time frame now this is the source data which really got shareholders concerned where as you can see the INO 4800 
now the focus is to perform on a global scale having international tr clinical trials and that's absolutely fine with US FDA once you submit your regulatory filing it doesn't have to be United States as well as long as a clinical investigator is doing what she or he is supposed to do complying with the laws and regulations and just monitoring for any significant adverse events this is why I firmly believe currently with Innovio Pharmaceuticals it can grow in its share price and definitely undervalued at this time and as you can see here Inovio has 15 DNA medicine clinical programs currently in development focused on HPV associated diseases cancer and infectious diseases including coronavirus associated with MERS and COVID-19 diseases being developed under grants from CEPI and the US Department of Defense DNA medicines are composed of optimized DNA plasmids, which are small circles of DNA stranded DNA that are synthesized or reorganized by computer sequencing technology and designed to produce a specific immune response in the body using the Selectra device to administer the product. So as you can see, this company has a wide array of products in the clinical pipeline and for that reason, you know, don't think so much about the INO4800 vaccine being the main significant driver of this. Yes, we know we are in a COVID-19 outbreak right now, but looking long term, this company is going to have multiple COVID-19 related vaccines. And we know COVID's not going to go away. There's not a single vaccine currently in the market that is eliminating this problem right now. Right, and the fact that you get a vaccine doesn't necessarily mean that you won't get COVID. It's only just going to reduce the severity, meaning getting a big time injury or potentially death. So right now, I mean, with all of this data being released, I mean, looking at its current share price, it's definitely value add. When there's blood on Wall Street, that's when you want to capitalize, take advantage of the reduced share price this is definitely buying at the discount right now because in the long run i fully anticipate that this share price can run up to triple digit share price range if you just hold it long term but that comes with patience and that's why i just wanted to share with you now is a great time to either dollar cost average down or take advantage of getting into Innovio Pharmaceuticals by taking a position of owning shares of this company. So overall, I hope that this video added value and just wanted to give you my takeaway, my perspective on the news around Innovio Pharmaceuticals, even though we know that currently with the whole vaccine play right now, it is saturated with competitors, right? We know there's those three large companies with EUA status right now and uh, there's so many companies right now trying to create vaccines that's why it's a very difficult market but when you look long term when you try to see what other therapy drugs that this company has that they're combating in the long run that's where you'll start seeing value add and from a share price standpoint you will see future valuation so thank you for watching this video and i hope that it gave you new insights on how i feel about where the current uh, share price is and how the company will position itself for success in the long run. Thank you. Have a great day, y'all. Goodbye.